Check it out, boys and girls. Like why I scored. My bro at work, Jerry, hooked me up with a Raspberry Pi 3 starter kit. It's a Model B with 1 gigabytes of RAM, 1.2 gigahertz with a quad-core CPU. We were talking about this for a few months, and he said that he want, had an extra one he wanted to give it to me because he knows I'm a geek like that. So what comes with this, besides the little computer, is a case with heat seeks, um, adapter to power up. You got your 32 gigabyte class 10 SD card, along with a USB card reader. Uh, I didn't need HDMI cables, didn't come with it, no big deal. And of course my book. So I was talking about this dude and he's doing a lot of crazy shit with his Pi 3. And I said, I want to play. And he gave me this. So boys and girls, we think I did with this system? Building a fucking arcade system? Hello? You know me, I'm old school like that. So, I've been working on this for a few days. And let me show you what I got. Stand by. Okay, powering it up. You can see a lot of code here because that's how it works. But here's my intro screen. <laughs> nice, huh? And of course, more code to load because now it's loading the mainframe. So I have an intro screen and a mainframe. Sorry, I'm trying to reposition myself. And here we go. So, what I have going with this bad boy is uh, this area where you could play different video games and I have a little coolness of the history of video games so you can pause and read that but I decided you know what you can play some games you can learn a little bit about it so we got our arcade games there's your Super Nintendo pause and read a little bit what I got there it's like a little trivia there is your Sega this is the 32X. I got one game for that so far. There's my configuration. And, oh, PlayStation. Gotta have my PlayStation. There's Nintendo. What brought back the systems all together. And, of course, there's a little history. Pause and read that. There is your Sega Saturn. A little bit about that. Or the Mega Drive, excuse me. And there's my main drives. My main is where I have two games that can't work in the arcade mode. Same thing. But it's working two different main systems. Uh, of course, you know, Game Boy Advance. Got some games in that one. Game Boy. Remember that first portable system? There's a little history there. ColecoVision. Now, that was my very first video game system. There you go. A little bit about it. And, of course, Atari, which started it all. The first, literally, the first uh, gaming system for the market. And we're back here to arcade. So, how does this run? Well... Let's play. Now, each system has different things set up for the controller. I'm working off of keyboards and controls. And by the way, for those who haven't figured it out, I'm running Raspberry Pi, uh, excuse me, RetroPie uh, emulator. I was doing emulators by themselves, one by one, until I came across this. I'll leave a link below on how to score this if you want to do the same thing. Um, as far as how to make things look, well, uh, I did a lot of hard work, so you got to figure it out. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to give away the whole thing. So let's go ahead and play. Well, you know what? Burger Time was one of my favorite games. 
And for a while, I'd never had this to play. And now I have the arcade version. There you go. <laughs> so let me go ahead and throw a quarter in there. <laughs> nice. And play. And of course, this is like just using my little controller playing the game. Alright, let me get out of there. So basically, I have a USB controller using I'm using right now. Uh, one day I like to get one of those uh, joysticks with button kind of arcade style looking things. Maybe one day build a cabinet for this. But right now, I'm playing with a USB uh, PS3 controller that's got different multiple commands, so depending upon the game system. Um, so let's go a little art school here. Old school here, excuse me. <laughs> Our art school. <laughs> and so, you know, what you got to do here is set it up and put your coin in and play. Now, some of the audio is not working properly, but, you know, a lot of it is. So it kind of depends on the game and the, and the program. So basically how this works is that I got the games loaded, but not every game works the way it should. Um, majority of them do. I've been working the bugs out, so I have to go back in there and reprogram some of the, <laughs> some of the ROMs. So all this area right here called Arcade um, is arcade games, and these are the, <laughs> the true arcade ROMs. Pretty cool, huh? Let me go and throw a quarter. You remember how that went? And you remember how it played? <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. Not trying to play a game, trying to show you a game. Now, someone will be pissed off if I didn't show them this. Uh, this goes out to you, Turtle. You just chick that loved this game. Now, how does it work? Well, you know what? Put, let's put a quarter in here. Let's play it. And like I said, it moves around just fine. It works just fine, just like the arcade coming up. So, you know, like I said, these are true arcade games. So let me go back one here. And we got our Super Nintendo. Let's see here. PlayStation now was the hardest one to work on. Um, I got some games here. And here's some retro games. Oh, wrong button. Like I said, I got multiple buttons for the multiple things, so you have to excuse me. And it's like, to get PlayStation running, I had to redo it. So once I reconfigured it, I'll let it go first. Once I reconfigured it, So once I reconfigured it, damn it, and got the ROMs going with the uh, BIOS, it started running just fine. Remember, the knives were pretty brutal when it came to our graphics. But this is the PlayStation from the 90s, man.
So basically, to get the PlayStation running properly, I had to reconfigure the BIOS programs along with some of the software. But now, it works like a champion. Now you saw how uh, Centipede worked on the arcade level. This is the PS version of Millipede. And of course, you know, I get the buttons corresponding with it. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Trying to play a game, I'm trying to show you a game. So basically, that's what you got. Now, a lot of people want to know about the mascot for PlayStation, Crash Bandicoot, how it ran. It was running sluggish for a lot of folks online. I got working properly the way it should be. So basically, you saw there's no lag time anymore. We got all take care of. Um, yeah, I got D. But one of the hardest ones was Psychic Detective. So yeah, I got that one playing. Still working on a few bugs on that one. But yeah, for the most part, it's working just fine. We got old school Nintendo. But let's go over here to my very first arcade system. Oh, there you go. Click on fish. Okay, let's hop in. Uh, once again, it came with Donkey Kong. Let's play. Ah, again. With the buttons, sorry. Buttons are configured differently for each system. So, I'm using a keyboard with uh, ColecoVision along with the uh, controller. So, on the keyboards, I have to hit one because, you know... Remember the controllers? You had things... <laughs> And it works just fine. Let me come out here. To get out of that, I had to do a control and uh, escape program for that. But working off the little systems and stuff, like I said, it's pretty cool. So for the most part, I'm pretty happy with what I got so far. Working on bugs, trying to get things figured out. Oh, yeah, of course, you know, had to have the Atari. Got some games I grew up with, Snoopy and the Red Baron, but the Star Trek ones and the Star Wars ones were intrigued me the most. We all remember how bad they were. Well, let's let's go back in time. Yeah, that's pretty much it. How bad it was. I'm getting out of here. I got for only memory purposes of rediscovering old school coolness, but yeah, the Atari pretty much sucked balls until the arcade version. Which the arcade version of the Atari, well, let's talk about that. Let's go into let's see here, Atari game. Oh, what well, Temptus was one, wasn't it? Ah. Sorry, pushing buttons again. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I remember Red Baron. That was a, a vector Atari game. Did I pass it? Damn it. There you go. Put coin in. And play it again. 
game. Once again, not trying to play a game. I got Qbert, Phoenix, and Pleads, and all that, and Pac-Man does Pac-Man. Um, I know someone's going to be upset if I didn't do this, so let's go to Fraga. Once again, these are the arcade running systems, so that's why you see some of the startup screens. And yeah. Was I really good at this game? Nah. Was it fun to play? Fuck yeah. Ah. Alright. Getting up. So you guys, you get the gist of it. Um. Raspberry Pi 3, Model B, running these killer retro Pi system arcades. And then, of course, you just have to modify the programs to get what you see today and all that. So, got every system I love so far. Could add more working on the games. Um, but that's what we got so far. I'm just really happy to have this... Um, Especially, you know, trying to play dual school systems like Coleco. But more importantly, arcade games. So, like I said, little project. Uh, been working on this for a little while. And I love that I was able to do this. Pretty cool. Alright, man. I'm going to kick it old school playing some games and going back to programming. There's guys.